Winter is coming. In this video I thought I'd show you how to create some luminar looks if you're new to the software. I'm also going to provide you with some of my own winter snow and ice looks which will act as a starting point for any of your snow scenes and I'll put a link down in the description below. But without further ado let's dive right in. Okay to create a look that perhaps you, you've been shooting, out shooting all day or you've been in the studio all day and you want the same feel to every image. What you can do is you can go in and use any of the elements within the tools panel. I'll bring up the sky. AI structure. The colour, for me, the greens are too vivid. So I'm going to pull back the saturation a bit, pull back the vibrance a bit. Go in and adjust the greens. I'm going to take the hue of the greens more towards there. I'm going to pull the saturation back again. Push the luminance of it. And I know that's changing the scene from what it is that you originally saw there. I'll then go into the landscape enhancer, dehaze this slightly, remembering that the dehaze affects the entire image. Quite happy with that. I'll then go into the portrait enhancer, use the autumn effect, push the autumn effect ever so slightly. So there we have the before with the vivid greens and quite saturated greens. And now we have it afterwards. It's more of a dramatic look. That's the kind of images that I like, the more dramatic looking images. The scene itself is very dramatic. It's in Glencoe, but I prefer a dramatic edit to most of my images. So that's it. What you then do, click here it looks, and then we go save luminar look. And we'll title this, we'll, we'll just call this one Glencoe. Save, and there we have it here. If I wanted to export that look, if I right click, export appears. If I didn't know where the look was, I can go show and finder, and it shows me where it is along with the rest of my created looks. So that's how quick and easy it is to create a look in Luminar. Okay, as I said, here we now have the five images and the five looks that I am going to provide for download below if you want them. Uh, these are using Luminar 4, so won't be backwards compatible because of the AI. Go into edit. And we'll go for this for the first one. And this one here is created to enhance the ice and the skies. I'm not a keen fan on bright blue skies. It doesn't mean I'm miserable or anything. I'm just not a keen fan on it. So this one was edited with the ice and the sky in mind. And here it is here. So here we have the after. There's the before and the after. So you can see there's a massive difference in this just by applying that one look. And if you go in through any of the tools, you can see light has been used. AI Enhance has been adjusted. Everything that is highlighted in white is a part of this look. And remember, this is just a starting point for your looks. You can then go in and adjust any of these whatsoever. I'll go into the blue and I'll just adjust the blue and we'll bring the blue back to there. And if I wanted to update the look, I could go into the look, right click and update with current settings and it will save that. I'll show you the rest now. So here we have winter clean and crisp and I'll zoom in here to show you the difference with this one. There's the before and as you can see it was a heavy snowfall that day. There's the after. Clean and crisp look. Stormy sky. With this one I've added a sun ray which you can turn on and off and if you apply that to any of your images the sun rays can be turned on and off or totally reset. Here we have the before here we have the after. Winter snow applied to this one. Here's the before. Here's the after. Before, after, 
So you can see that's intensified the sky with this one. And as always, everything that's highlighted in white can be adjusted and you can add your own adjustments in with these. These are just a starting point for the looks. Last but not least, winter daybreak. Before, after, before, after. So hopefully you found that useful just in how to create looks if you're new to the Luminar software. These looks can be applied to any image and although in this case they're called winter daybreak, snow and ice, stormy sky, they can be applied to any image at all. So feel free to download these, I'll put the link below and use them or don't use them or don't even download them. These Luminar looks are there as a starting block for your edits. If you are out shooting, for example, in the blue hour and you want the images to remain the same and speed up your editing time, apply, create a look for one of them and apply it to the rest as a starting block for the rest of your edits. It's really, really handy and it means you'll have a series of images that tonally look the same, which is to a point quite important if, for example, you are putting out an exhibition or you're putting a series of images online, you don't want them to be suddenly one is a deep blue, one of them is a light blue, but yet they were all shot at the same time. Handy thing to have, handy thing to try yourself, so why not give it a go? If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please check out the rest of the videos on the channel and thanks again for watching.